Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We are back again with the Benevolence mod and we are taking a look at Pandemonium, which is Pandemonium? Pandemonium, which is a really cool looking item. For one, by the way, the sprite just looks goddamn amazing. And it's giving us quite a lot here. So huge damage multiplier, plus one damage, range multiplier, fire rate uh, multiplier down, but tears now pierce and ricochet off the targets. So it seems pretty awesome. Oh my lord. Okay, for one we fire swords, which is amazing. And this might be one of the best Isaac costumes I've ever seen. Uh, also, let's remove the D6 because we ain't starting with the D6 here. Um, and we get Euthanasia to start here. A very, very nice one. But this is possibly the best looking costume I've ever seen. Uh, that's that's kind of amazing. And yeah, so basically if there's another enemy nearby is it, does this count as piercing as well? Wow, this is good. By the way, I'm on my new keyboard now. I don't know if you guys are able to hear the keyboard. It is a little louder than my old one, uh, but we'll have to see. But this uh, this item seems like it can it can carry on its own. This is honestly possibly one of the best sprite and uh, costume combos I've seen from any modded item. I apologize other modders. This is gosh darn beautiful like i want isaac to look like this all the time my god i love it i love it an item like this i would definitely release as a standalone mod because some people don't like having mod packs that add like new characters and stuff but this item's like a lot of effort's gone into this so far obviously as you can see it's pretty strong um, I'm curious to see how it would synergize with some things. I'm guessing, obviously, Tierra places like Tech X or uh, Technology it's not going to work with. But I'd be curious to see how it works with, like, Rubber Cement or, like, um, or, like, the Pebble. The Pebble? What, what, what's it called? The one that makes them the, the tears bounce. I always forget what that's called. Flatstone. That's the one. I wonder how it works with Flatstone. So we'll see if we end up getting anything like that. I mean, we got Euthanasia here, so I'm curious to see how the Euthanasia shots come out so far so good we'll grab ourselves that thank you i'm hoping nothing uh, takes away our costume here because it's it's genuinely beautiful hey i was actually really hoping for this probably should have placed him near the cash room door so i could have got him for free do you know what that's kind of rude my dude you've um stolen all my hearts away and given me nothing in return i feel a little cheated i'm gonna see if i can maybe find a secret room See if we can get anything going on from that. Um, it's it's somewhat likely to be there. Yeah, I think it probably is there. But I'm going to check this back room for hearts anyways before I do that. Whoa. Interesting proc with euthanasia there. Ooh, tears up is very nice considering we've got a tears multiplier down. Um, yeah, interesting proc with euthanasia there. It double procced. And I'm not quite sure if that was because the enemy is in two segments or if that is something to do with the tier replacing effect of this item. Oh, hello. Uh, takes half a soul heart in exchange for various rewards. Um, it's, it's kind of a hard play, that. Insert a coin after 10 coins has a 1% chance to explode and double the coins inserted. Ooh, that could be interesting. Um, but at the minute we can't say anything. Honestly, if I'd have kept my red hearts, I'd probably be playing that, that uh, kiln guy. But... Considering it can't pay out with an item, and I only have three soul hearts to my name, uh, I'm a little more wary to do that. But yeah, the sprite for the uh, the throne sword is also really, really nice. You're a you're a little shit, you are. You know that. Uh, I'm gonna go down this way. Why not? I was hoping there'd be a heart in here, but you win some, you lose some, I guess. But yeah, this keyboard, man. I got a Keychron keyboard, which is like a, a proper keyboard brand. Oh, dude, that was amazing. Uh, it's like a proper keyboard brand rather than just a cheaper one. Uh, and I got a Q1 HE, which means it has magnetic uh, sensors, which uh, is really, really cool. The, um, you can basically set how hard or soft you can press the keys in, in order to trigger them, which is really good because it, it means you can, you can take like your Windows key um, and... Ooh, broken modem would be kind of nice. You can take, like, your Windows key and make it really, really hard to press. As in, like, you have to press it all the way in so you don't get any accidental presses. But then for gaming, you can set all your gaming keys. Uh, excuse me. Um, you can set all your gaming-related keys to be, like, super sensitive, like, rapid trigger. So that you um, automatically touch them at the soon as possible moment. It's really cool. It's got some other really interesting features as well, specifically for gaming, that I'm really liking so far. Obviously, you guys know by now, I play a decent amount of, like, Call of Duty and stuff. So, it's been fun to, um, 
fun to try out on that game. And also as well, I mean, just regardless of that other stuff, it it just feels darn amazing to use. It genuinely just feels so good to type on. It sounds really nice, and it's just like, I've never really spent, like, good money on a keyboard before, and, I, like, I kind of regret not having done that before, because this is really, really nice. There's a heart, finally. What we got going on in here? How to jump is unfortunately not our bag, but dead eye. Oh, dead eye. With our little eye, eye of Sauron up here is a, is, a, is a nice addition. So, if I do that, I can put that in there. So, basically, this is just kind of like a piggy bank that we hopefully get to pay out later on. I don't know how long it's going to end up taking, but I'm uh, I'm willing to I'm willing to put into it because it could it could pay out at any point and double our money. Obviously, the longer it takes to pay out, oopsie, longer it takes to pay out, the better. Yeah, well, one problem with this keyboard uh, is the fact that it is smaller than my other one, so I keep pressing the wrong keys because um, I've just like got such muscle memory. But I'll get used to it. It'll take a bit of time, but I've been on the other keyboard for like three years now, so it's just all about like that learning curve of getting back into it, essentially. Oh, shit. I didn't realize you were going to pop out there, my good lad. Oh, dude. The euthanasia procs are um, something tasty. I'm going to leave the, the, the heads for now. Devil deal? Honestly, we've got some empty red hearts. This is not a bad idea. I'd like to get like an eye of the occult or something with this as well. That'd be kind of interesting. But I'll take sanguine bond, you know. I'll take sanguine bond. Honestly, this can give us pennies. I'm willing to play this twice. We got a damage up. Already very happy with that. And two black hearts. I'll play it a little more then. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, nine lives. Okay. Um... I'll, put, I'll go hard on this. More damage. More damage. Duality. Beautiful. I'm willing to drop an extra life on this as well. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Okay. That was that's that's a good sanguine bond right there. That is a very good sanguine bond, but we'll be on our way. Nine lives in pocket, ready to go. Yeah, I actually think Sanguine Bond is an item that is severely, severely underrated for the most part. I think it's a very, very good, uh, very, very good item. Goddamn, our character is looking gnarly right now. Also, when we're at our full bonus here, we're at 23 damage, which is, uh, pretty amazing. Ooh, and we get an Eternal Heart there. Obviously, I'm gonna leave that where it is for right now. Want that, thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna grab that until the end of the floor. Because uh, otherwise I'll lose it. Ooh, piercing tears. Oh, dude. That's so good for us right now. Uh, damage increases by 1.5 times for every monster it pierces through. That's, um... That's going to be pretty goddamn good for us, I think. My penny's in there. But we have un... Um, we have un our face. It's not quite as crazy. Oh, dude. This is fun. This is very fun. And a soul heart there. That amount allows me to go and grab this. Thank you. Now it's got some safety behind it. I don't mind grabbing it. We do have the store key, so I am just kind of checking my shops out and seeing what's what. Um, Do I want to bomb you with only one bomb to my name? Not right now, I don't. Oh my lord. Okay, we got this guy. I forget exactly how you work, but I have a feeling it's not going to really matter too much. Oh, dude, yes, please. We have three syringes. Yes! I was wondering if that would give us spun or not. That's amazing. That gives a plus 10 damage up. Wow. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of amazing that we got spun already. <laughs> wow. I like that. I like that a lot. What I need now is some luck increases to proc euthanasia a little more often. That would be kind of nice. Oh, man. Do you know what would be really, really good right about now? Spectral Tears. My god, this would destroy... More range and Spectral Tears would uh, would go a hell of a long way with this setup. Also, you can see my tier size is uh, getting to the point where it's pretty easy to hit things now as well, which is nice. 
I could um, get rid of the soul heart to go to my boss trap room. Little bit risky. I'm tempted by it though. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to my cash room here and uh, take the risk. Take the plunge. Telepills? Nah, estrogen up. Which didn't actually do anything by the looks of it. I don't know what it was meant to do, but it didn't seem to do anything. Okay. At least we've still got our, our funky headgear on. I'm glad that's sticking around. I'd be pretty sad if I lost that headgear. Ooh, tears up really nice for us right about now. Ooh, an enemy that spawns minions. That's not in your best interest, fella. Yeah, spawning minions is not in your best interest at all. But there you go. Um, we go grab our key piece, I guess. We could do a mother run. I like seeing Mortis. And I, I also feel like being having spun and going to Mortis is an interesting idea because considering how many syringes are down there will fit in quite well. Um, right, let's go back to our mirror room real quick. Boom, but, do, do, do. but yeah, I'm in a I'm in a really really good mood for some Isaac today. I'll be honest, I really am. I will say though, I'm in a little bit of a bad mood about Isaac in in YouTube sense because the last few episodes I've been stinkers apparently. I don't really know what I did wrong. It, I, it's just YouTube playing games though. You can't look into it too deeply. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. Just some videos flop and some don't, and I don't really see any specific pattern or rhyme or reason as to which causes which. It seems pretty much completely random each time whether a video does well or doesn't, so I just try not to look into it too much anymore because it's confusing. But this with Dead Eye is, oh man, it's, it's something pretty beautiful. Still filling up my box here. Oh, you didn't get to didn't get to even do anything. Oh, that soul heart there is pretty crucial, actually. It's very, very nice. I'm glad I came down here just for that. And of course, I'm going to do my boss again because the bosses are uh, rolling over. Some extra hearts there. Don't need them. The extra chests are real nice. Oh, a token. I think I'm going to take that because the last thing I took was a soul heart. Yeah, good. Beautiful. You spawn your poop ball, but it does not behoove you. GMO corn, a little bit risky. But I only had one bad pill in all of that, so I think overall that was pretty good for us. Back through the mirror, and we'll, we'll also bomb the mirror on leaving. This might be genuinely one of my favorite quality 4 items I've seen in modding so far. Like, this is a really, really interesting item that's very, very strong. Like... I would genuinely probably ha rather have this on some runs than Sacred Heart. Like, this is amazing. I like it a lot. Right, let's keep it moving. Dun, dut, dut, dut. Dut, 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 dut. We've got two bombs to go to the mines here, so we'll do that, because why not? Health is looking a lot better now as well. Two soul hearts, about to get a third red heart. On top of that, I think that birds very well for the future. Ooh, we got Grotto as well. Always fun to see. I wonder when our box is going to pop. Oh my god. So I think we have a 1% chance every time. Uh, has a 1% chance to explode. Yeah, I care. So every time we add a penny in, oh my god. So what, the tier size is definitely growing with each enemy hit. Um, Wow, that guy didn't die in a single hit. Um, Whipworm? Whipworm might be useful for us here. I'm not entirely sure of that. I'm going to sort of see how that goes. Seems good. Um, I'll take the Slippy Tooth. Why not? That also would have been good, but Slippy Tooth is probably better for us right now, because it's not an active item. Beautiful. The enemies do need to be somewhat close together in order for us to get that joint hit. And we 
Put all them in there. Could take a while for this thing to end up popping, but... I'm willing to see how it goes. Uh, am I going to do the rest of this floor? Honestly, probably not. Actually, no, to be fair, I've got a decent planetarium chance. Ooh, this boss is cool. A very intriguing boss that is very dead, but very intriguing boss nonetheless. Get some extra HP. In this scenario, I don't really know what I want to go for here. I've got the choice between Angel and Devil. I'm going to go Angel. Let's see what we get. Holy water's pretty darn good. I like it. Thank you. I took a gamble. I'm pretty happy with my gamble. Um, Yeah, I'll go and do the rest of the floor. I feel like I, I too often speed through the game a little bit too much. And I know that some of you would prefer me to uh, be a bit more min-maxy and full clear. I'm not going to full clear every floor, mind you. I'm not going to clear like the womb and stuff when I go there, but... Worth trying. Ooh, two I'm drowsy pills. I'll, I'll, I'll keep hold of one. I probably won't end up holding it all the way to mother, but you never know. There's the opportunity there that I could. And there you go. We've got another soul heart for sticking around. I feel like that's pretty good going. I see. Really? Can this bomb not slide around like crazy, please? Oh! Throw like an inch further. What, what is happening here? Throw where I want you to throw. There you go. Oh, God. I did not expect there'd be more enemies in this room. Um, I know there's a secret room right here. But I want to maybe see if I can find a bomb for that. Pretty obviously there. Fortunately, can't get a red bomb to that. It'd be a bit of a risk without having super high speed. Oh, I don't know what this uh, marker here is for. Weird. I'll crack this open it and... Yes, there you go. In the hope for a bomb. I got one. Well, I don't know what these guys do. Just a big explosion. Okay. Interesting. These enemies are huge. Put all my pennies away. Uh, you watch, it's going to proc by the time I get to the point where I've got no shops left. I don't know, I'm just, I'm intrigued by it and I don't want to completely give up on it. I've already put some money into it, I don't want to let it go. Really, that isn't secret room? I was so sure. I was so sure. Then again, though, I guess it could be right here. Yeah, it's probably right there. Damn it. There was a few locations on that floor that it was pretty likely to be in, so it's kind of hard to make a decision at that point. Anyways, let's keep going down what curse we got here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode, even though the views-wise I didn't do amazingly. But I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode in terms of booting up a streak. I, it's something that I'd quite like to um, quite like to do and continue on with. Because um, I, I find it quite fun, personally. Secret room, lovely. Hello, hello. Do you know what? Uh, I, I heard something reflected in here, I thought. But maybe not. I'll give you some heart containers. Okay, I only need to give you one. Horror Babylon. Okay, so we know that we're going Devil Deal next then, I guess. Because we'd like to get ourselves to the point where Horror Babylon is active, if possible. Fortunately, not the best of care rooms there for us. Beautiful, look at that. We have quite a lot of keys, game. Could you uh, give me some bombs so I can utilize them? I'm going to wait for these guys to get close and then fire. Yeah! I was hoping it would do that. Kill them all in one go. Oh god, this flies wrapped in poop. Or dirt? Mud? I'm going to say poop, but it's probably mud. <laughs> Looking at the, the aesthetics of this floor, it's probably mud. But looking at this game, it's probably poop. It's at least ambiguous right now. Five random pills is a bit sketch. I'll take the random here. Ah, damn it. Both actives. 
As, as uh, bad as this active is, why can't I throw over that gap? Not even a gap, it's, it's a muddy puddle. There you go. As bad as this active is, I would like to, to hold on to it and see it through. Even if that means not actually being able to purchase anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm dedicated to it now. It's the sunk cost fallacy, people. I can't let go now. I've already sunk too much into it. Beautiful. What is going on with all these, um... All these fool's gold rocks. There's so many of them. No bombs to blow them up, goddammit. You I'm not familiar with either, really. Ooh. I like all your bat friends, though. That's cool. Can we get three random runes? Could we get a hagen in here? The Kana. Perthra is pretty good. We get double Perthra. Anything to reroll on this floor? Not really, is there? Oh, wait, no. Of course, there's an active item. I'm stupid. Let's go back and grab that. Well, I said grab it. Let's go back and reroll and see what we get first. Don't even know what I'm hoping for. I think just uh, Ouija board would be really good. Tears and Spectral would be very, very nice. So let's get Ouija board. Or Fruity Plum. I'll take a Fruity Plum. Now, do I want to take the Drowsy Pill and try and keep it all the way through Mother? Or do I want to take the Perthra and try and roll for better item? I think Perthra is probably more fun, right? The potential to get something more interesting is there. We'll also give ourselves uh, a knife piece too, which I think we can actually just find in here somewhere. You can see all my spawning from testing that I've done in the past. My god, I spawned a lot of items in. Where are we at? Where are we at? Honestly, it's not there. Right. Give knife two. Go on through. We've got our knife and we are ready to get going on the next stage here. By the way, I realized there is mods out there that, that remove the knife chase as well. But none of them really do it in a way that I want. <laughs> Holy. Things get a little crazy in that room. Oh, and there's our bomb afterwards, of course. Okay. We got the all-seeing eyes coming after us. And yet more keys, baby. Ow, I walked right into that. That was kind of stupid. Oh, and again. Wow, I'm taking some bad damage right now. But luckily the game knew that I made a, a fool of myself and decided to fix that for me. Like random here. Ooh, interesting. We now fire a lot more tears. It didn't lower our fire rate, weirdly. We fire five tears now. Normally that lowers your fire rate, that item, but this time it didn't. Interesting. It did, however, lower our damage by quite a bit, but considering we're firing five tears, I don't think it really matters. I'm pretty sure this item is quality four as well. I think we're just going to go straight to the boss here by the looks of it. Yeah, definitely doing more damage overall, I think. On a room-to-room -room basis as well, we'll be doing more. Uh, at this point, we do want to go Devil Deal here, because we want to be trying to get rid of our Red Hearts as much as I did just take a new one. Um, well, there you go. We got Mum's Knife, which I, I am going to take just to see if it synergizes, but I don't think it will. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't, but I will I will keep it for a hot second. I'll also grab that as well. Back to Beta Horror Babylon. Um, probably should have played you first, but oh well. Um, I'm going to quickly go back around here and just... I want to see if the Mum's Knife redirects as the, um, as the original tier did from Pandemonium. If not, I will remove it. Okay, no, it doesn't. Unfortunate. Uh, remove... Mom's knife. I'm still going to uh, take the L on the losing the hearts thing, though. But I, I, I fully did not expect it to uh, synergize with tier replacing effects, because that would be 
like, kind of crazy for a single item to have all that going on. We got a secret room here. It looks very secret roomy to me. Oh, hello. Oh, tear it. Very nice. King of Diamonds is nice, but I'm going to carry on with what we've got going on right now. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, also as well, um, I didn't really do a question of the day today. As for the question of the day, just it'd be really nice if you guys could just let me know more of the sort of stuff you want to see in Isaac. Because obviously, like I was saying earlier, sometimes I upload videos and they just don't really do as well as I'm hoping. What, like, it'd be just nice to know, like, what is it for you that, that drives you to not click an episode? Because, like... Obviously, the way that YouTube works, I've got, I've got, just, just hit 13,000 subscribers, which is a nice milestone to hit, by the way. Uh, but I've just hit 13,000 subscribers. Ooh, is that going to do that every room? Please don't do that every room. Okay, no, it doesn't. Um, yeah, I just hit 13,000 subscribers, and I'm getting, like, on my, on my good videos, I'm getting up to, like, 2.5k views, which is for the sub count is pretty reasonable it's pretty decent but obviously on a bad day is this going to be every single backtrack room i'm going to get this message oh really why um on a bad day uh i am unfortunately like getting like 500 views ish which is still nice i'm not i'm not complaining about that and that amount but it, when you sort of compare it to sub count it's not ideal uh it definitely could be better and i'm i'm very curious as to what it is that causes people to not click which the difficulty here is in order to learn from you guys what that is this video needs to be one of the popular ones because if it's not then the only people hearing this are the people that are the 500 that regularly watch anyways and i've all you guys are already watching no offense but you guys are already watching i don't really need the opinion of people that are already watching every video i need the opinion of people that are just joining sometimes I'm trying to figure out what it is. Is it thumbnail based? Is it title based? Is it just the day of the week, maybe? Um, is it the item that I'm showcasing that you've maybe seen on another channel or something? It's it's kind of like hard to really know what I could be doing to improve it. I don't know if it's anything, really. I don't know if it's something that I can influence or if it's just kind of one of those things. I feel like it very much just is one of those things and I don't really have much control over it. Range is nice for us here. Um, let's pop in here first. Piggy bank is actually kind of nice here. I'll take it. Snake would have been better though. And Juno or this one. Every five tiers fired, fire a burst of four stationary tiers. If these tiers are in range of other tiers, they will orbit. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Oh no, where's our uh, where's our costume gone? I don't know when we got rid of that, actually. I've not been paying attention. We've got the horns still. We've got this cute little hoodie on now. Ooh, there's some of those tears. So at this point, we'll go um, Angel Deal. We get Heart Shaped Balloon, which is a very good item. Thank you. And you know what? I'll pair throw this as well. Why not? I knew I was saving my pair throw for a good reason. We got the white key. Spawns an eternal chest in certain special rooms. 50% chance to conserve the key. Item spawned will cycle between the original item and angel pool items. Maybe a little late in the game for that to be super useful, but hey ho, we'll take it. We'll check what's going on in here as well. Unfortunately, nothing there that's going to make this run much cooler. Still haven't got a payout from this. Unfortunate, because there's no shops left. I think 1% is pretty brutal. It should be maybe 2%. Getting that thing open seems uh, rough. By the way, I realize I've missed out on a lot of these heads here. But it's, it's one of those features where I'm kind of like, if, I, if I'm doing a run specifically about that mod pack, I, I like to interact with. Um, and I, I would interact with. But when I'm doing just regular runs, I feel like that's just going to add more clutter to the run. Um, it's not a feature that I want to engage with, so I'm just kind of leaving it. I'm hoping eventually the model will add like a setting in the... Um, MCM to just like turn off certain features like that. It would be ideal to see What we get from this. Thank you. We did indeed get mortis here So unfortunately this little light uh, this little planetarium that we've got with the with the orbiting tears We've actually got way too much shot speed for it to really work 
doesn't quite work the way that it's like in intended. And I realize I have a trinket that increases shot speed, but also shot speed seems to be actually helping out our tiers, so I'd like to keep it. What boss we got here? Oh, hello. Who are you? I haven't met you before. Luckily, you are frozen and probably going to die pretty quickly. Oh, what are you doing, good sir? What's all this? Ooh, this death animation is kind of cool. Oh, I like the way that the uh, syringes in the walls are like slowly filling the wall and spewing stuff out. They were slowly depleting and like filling the wall with whatever was in the in the vial. Ow! I got skewered. Ah, oh, that's a red poop. Didn't realize because of the color. I don't really know exactly how you work, Mr. Fat Syringe Man. Whoa, look at that pause. Ow, okay. They're explosive. Luckily, we've got nine lives, but we are not in a good spot health-wise right about now. Big lad, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? There you go. We got him. Yes, our box has just sapped all our money and not give us, given us anything back thus far, so not ideal. Um... I guess I'll go Devil Deal here. Could take time, gal. I think I'm gonna go Seven Seals, though. I could Sanguine Bond and just, like, try and end myself uh, and get myself a bunch of extra stuff, but I don't think it's ideal. See, Betrayal would be absolutely god-tier if enemies could hit themselves with their own projectiles, because Mother, that would that would be pretty amazing. There's so many bouncing tears in the Mother fight. Imagine if she could hit herself with her own projectiles. That would be, uh, that'd be kind of nuts. Unfortunately, euthanasia never really improved that much. We only got up to two luck. I think it scales pretty slowly with luck, to be fair. It's one of those ones where to get to 100% euthanasia, you need to be like got 30 luck or something crazy. Good. Oh, we do need more bombs. Bombs for mother is very nice. <laughs> I actually can't imagine the original Isaac music for these flaws anymore. I'm so in it with um, the the mod that I use for music that like I just can't imagine what it'd be like without it. Now the question is, do we use four of our bombs here? I think we do. It could give us health. Soiled. Eh, did I just waste a bomb there? Oh, no, I didn't. I've got Akeldama. Akeldama's potentially interesting. I don't think I have the Synergy mod on for it, though. I won't be doing a ton, but... Does something. Hey, there's a bit more of that look that I was looking at. Thank you. Wait, what? I look only went up to two. I thought we already had two look. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Seems like we're going the right way for the boss though here. There you go. Beautiful. Right, I think we're ready to go. It's been a fun run, and this item is super, super cool. But yeah, we've got all these tiers that could be like bouncing back into it. So we do only have two bombs for the next phase now, which really isn't ideal. We're, we're, we're blasting our way through this phase pretty quickly because the tears are uh, the little knife tears that we've got going on swords, whatever they are, are bouncing off of her main segment into her arms, which means we're getting a bit of extra damage off of each shot. And does well, all five tears are hitting, which helps. It helps quite a bit. Ow. 
Damn it, our box never paid out. I, by the way, I also don't know how much health I have right now. I really don't. I am completely unaware as to how much I have. Oh, that will follow the echo diamond tears. That's funny. I think I've got two hearts left. Right, just keep keep on trucking away. We'll be fine. Keep it going. You're going to do a spin now, aren't you? You're in a really awkward spot. No, you didn't. You should do this again. Game has slowed down quite a bit for some reason. I definitely need to look into what mods I've got enabled and stuff, because I am definitely getting some significant slowdown for no good reason. We should not be at 15 FPS when we're just shooting at him. Oh no, I died! No! Okay. This is basically game over now, because we're, we've got nine lives and we're going to have to try and no-hit him. Uh, or her, should I say. Which I don't think is going to happen. I'm, I'm good. I'm not that good. Yeah. Already proving that there. Yeah, that attack I find really hard to dodge. I'm trying to proc my uh, my box just in case. I don't know why. I don't need the money, but... Okay, that was that was all right. I don't know why this fight is getting so laggy. What are you doing now? No, not the ball. I'm not prepared for the ball. I'm never prepared for the ball. No one is. The attack comes out of nowhere sometimes. Hey, we did it. Second phase, baby. Second phase. Spinning to win, are you? Spin to win is awful. Dude, the FPS. I've not even got anything crazy going on right now. It's wild how it's getting so low. Yeah, I definitely need to disable some mods because there'll be a few in here that I've got that are just ruining the FPS for some reason. Same again? Okay. This is one that I sometimes don't find very hard, sometimes find it really hard. It's lasting a while. Dude, the FPS just keeps getting lower and lower. Even if I stop firing, it doesn't catch back up. There's somewhat going on. Can I check my console? There's nothing going on in my console. There is the words PENIS in my console in all caps though. No! Darn you. And no knife to start, please. Oh, why with a knife to start? The rude way to start the combat. Oh my god. This is the worst thing about nine lives and against like big bosses. You just end up in this loop of just insta dying over and over again. And our box still hasn't exploded. How dare you? How dare you? First phase is not too bad. Second phase gets a bit gross though. I'm just still waiting to see if the FPS returns at all. It most certainly does not.
Okay. Done again. Right. You be more kind to me this time. I can do this. At least I'm saying I can. Good, good. What's next, my big boy? Or gal? You're just kind of a entity, really. This attack isn't too bad, but I do sometimes mess up. Just basic movements. No! There you go. I didn't even see that tier there. It was behind my player model. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut it there. I don't want to do this over and over again. It's not happening. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.